feel like it, it was very special, obviously, just being Mala, but to come here and, you know, to a place like this that is on, you know, coming back to life and bring brought back on something so awful, it was really special to be part of that. Yeah. Seeing everything and also to see Christchurch after the earthquakes, which is a really eye-opening and sort of confronting mm. experience, so... Interesting to see that parts of the city are still so beautiful and up and running and fantastic and then just around the corner there'll just be a pile of rubble. It's almost a bit surreal seeing all that, yeah. I think playing Resurrection in Christchurch, it's other than metaphorical meanings, it's just nice, nice. It's good. It's good to It's been really good, really cool experience. We've done a lot. It's great to, to come somewhere new. Um, and yeah, the, the city's so incredible to see, you know. Um, especially yesterday because we had a rehearsal with just Melbourne Youth Orchestra and sectionals as well. Uh, really in depth and really good actually, so it's good. So much was learnt already in the first rehearsal. Um, just meeting our mentors for the week um, and listening to how they play and how they rehearse. Every night we've had a rehearsal with um, the Christchurch Symphony Orchestra and then we've had master classes. playing in a professional orchestra has been really beneficial. And I think um, we've definitely built up a lot of stamina playing oh. for a long time. And counting. An hour and a half oh. symphony. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, to play with an orchestra of a much higher standard is just really great just to sit and listen. From both groups of people, I think for the MYO kids, playing in a large orchestra and mixing with uh, other people, it's a challenge and it's interesting. For the Christchurch people, it's, it's likewise, it's a big challenge to suddenly be sitting next to someone who you don't know, who plays differently and reacts differently and everything else. Sitting next to professionals is, is always just incredible because they've got so much more knowledge and, and experience. It's just you sit next to them and you learn just, just little things um, which you can use in everyday playing. Motivator to like practice my butter. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's incredible. He's got so much knowledge and so much passion in, in how he works. For me, the sixteenths are too heavy. Yum. Gee, da, 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 gee, yum. 
They're coming on a tour and they're playing, I don't know, like, you know, fifth contrabassoon, doubling on something else. And it's, it's much more complicated when you're putting the two things together than when you're just playing the whole work yourself. And there's, there's a lot to be learnt from him. He's, he's worked with some incredible orchestras and he's about to go to Germany as a full-time job. So to experience someone of such an incredible standard is, to work under him is really, really cool. They should be strong. Yeah, bop them, bop them. I had a lot of things to say about like the classical style and, um, you know, to play it like an aria. Very exciting driving up to the door and then we walked in and there's all these airplanes and aircraft on the roof. Very interesting as far as venue choice. You wouldn't think that an airport hangar filled with aeroplanes was going to be a great venue, but it was. It was fantastic. It Jack did well. It was, you know, the uh, it was very easy to see everyone and keep contact with our leaders and see all the different sections and hear everything. It was great. All those planes. Yeah, it was a good view for us, probably yeah. better than the audience. Yeah. No, I was like, I was actually expecting more of like an airport. <laughs> kind of like, <laughs> like this. We all sit on couches and play. No, I was expecting like, you know, like in the airport they have um, like maintenance on the planes. I was expecting something like oh. that. And I find the MYO kids on the whole very, very open. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think people forget the impact that symphonic music or a piece like Marla 2 has when you play it live. It's much more exciting to hear us play it live than it is to hear a, a recording of even Bernstein, New York. Um, I think it was really good to get to know the rest of the people that are in MIO a lot better because um, when you see them in rehearsals, you don't really get to talk to them. And now that we've bonded a lot better, it'll probably, I think, <laughs> I think it'll, it helps us. Um, read the rest of them while we're playing and while we're in um, we're actually playing pieces and we can play together better and so I mean I hope that uh, 20 years time I bump into somebody and they say oh my god I remember playing Marla too it's been pretty fun the whole time the lack of sleep generally but that's made everything slightly more challenging which has been fun uh, I don't know everything <laughs> so much fun. friendships Interesting taste in food. So, you know, you get to know people a little bit better if you like know their sound. And... Yeah. I think yeah. just the friendships we've made. I oh, what's the... Oh, oh I love you! <laughs> I mean, I think if you just like get to know everyone better, because usually we just see each other for a couple of hours on the weekend, but here we've been like living with each other. It's been good and bad. Yeah. Mostly <laughs> good. Yeah. I think that one of the reasons we're on the planet is to do challenging things and to adapt. So it would be boring if we just did the same thing all the time. <laughs> um, so this is Kina um, putting a piece of paper into the bassoon to get the low A, which is the part I should be playing. I just hearing the acoustics, just hearing it reverberate out and back, and being surrounded by planes—it's something I'll never do in my life. 
ever again. So it's such a great experience here. Yeah.